All right, everyone, that wraps up this step-by-step -step guide on assembling a water jet system for a surfboard if you'd like to get the 3D print files. <music>
The height of this water jet system is very low and compact that's because surfboards are usually quite thin, so I designed this unit to be as slim and flat as possible, allowing it to sit close against the board surface for a cleaner and more aesthetic look. And next, we have a very important component, the propeller. This time, I designed the propeller using 304 stainless steel, and it uses a tapered cone locking system for the connection. The faster it rotates, the tighter it locks itself in place so there's no need for a locking nut or additional fastener. Now, I'm going to use a heat gun to warm up this tube and press it into the compression head of the water jet. It may look simple, but this is actually a very tight and secure connection. Next, I'm going to assemble these two bearings, and between them, there will be a small gap. To maintain the spacing, I've printed a 3D printed spacer that will fit perfectly between the bearings. Alright guys, everything looks perfect, right? The propeller spins super smoothly and doesn't touch the housing at all, thanks to the two bearings at the back, which support the shaft and reduce vibration. Next, I'm going to use a copper sleeves end to press into the 3D printed plastic, creating a very strong threaded insert. You'll use heat to press it into the two holes at the bottom once it's installed, you can easily screw and unscrew bolts, making assembly and maintenance much more convenient. And of course, if your motor is powerful enough, you can definitely run a dual blade setup like this. And don't worry in my 3D print file, I've also included a plastic propeller option for those who don't have a metal one you can use 3D printed plastic, but I recommend using a high strength, heat resistant material, like carbon fiber reinforced filament, for the best durability and performance. Next, I'm going to attach the propeller hub to the shaft. You can see a red liquid that's thread locking glue to prevent the threads from loosening. This shaft is specially designed. The front end is 12 millimeters and the rear end is 10 millimeters, which makes it easy to assemble the propeller securely. Here's a custom-made valve I designed, which allows us to inject grease or oil directly into the shaft for lubrication. During use, this helps the shaft run smoothly and also improves water resistance. Alright everyone, that wraps up this step-by-step -step guide on assembling a water jet system for a surfboard. If you'd like to get the 3D print files, you can contact me via the email in the video description. The price is 20. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.